Hi there, today I'll show you how to create this in five minutes. There is now a no code challenge where users are trying to create something within three minutes in Webflow. I did mine in four minutes, 46 seconds, but I think that's still counting uh, with the loader and everything. And in this video, I'll show you how to do exactly that. We will be creating this sort of boxish, widgetish uh, sort of dribble thing. Uh, with a video which looks like something like this, which we will get from pexels.com, uh, where you can get free stock footage for uh, for your projects. Uh, then, obviously, you don't have to stick to the same stuff. You can create anything sort of rese resembling this uh, this sort of visual style, which can then sort of turn into something like this with like sort of gradientish or like let's go green with like an maybe environmental idea. Uh, one note. We won't be creating the responsive version of this since this was meant to be created in three minutes and I still went over the time. So I guess that's uh, that's almost impossible to create something responsive, but obviously in your example, feel free to make it responsive. And I will try to uh, focus on responsive things uh, with more something valuable content than just uh, this small widget, which doesn't really serve any purpose. So anyway, let's look at how it's built. So we will start and create a new project, which I already have here, Jan's Ultra Awesome Project. Uh, we will have to go to project settings. We will upload custom fonts. Awesome, so we have these two or three in, uh, in our case, I meant two, uh, two typefaces. And then uh, we will go back to the designer. And now let's make this as smooth as possible. So. We will first uh, create a uh, video because uh, the video keeps on loading and sort of Webflow is uh, converting it so it works for you. So let's grab background video. Uh, so let's take this Pexels video. Uh, and now you can see it's uploading. You can keep designing. This takes around, around one minute. So we will have this 40, 70 pixels, 60, 40, 640. Uh, we can call this uh, background video, that's fine. And now let's focus on the on the custom stuff. So now we need a background. So that's this code. So let's grab body, background. Now we will create a div block, which will be absolute. Uh, position absolute, where it is, position absolute. We will put it on the whole thing so we can then center the whole content. Awesome. We will also want the center content, uh, the center content to be centered, as I mentioned. Uh, we will put it like this with the flags. Then we will create another thing, which will be the whole body of the widget. So we need 100, uh, 1,140 1, 1, pixels with uh, we will keep the height dynamic, so that's uh, that's fine. And since the video is sort of, uh, there is sort of like a white space around, uh, I'll put there 40 instead of 30 uh, to make it, uh, make it more breathable. So let's do 40 from old size. And then from here, so the text is on the same level uh, as the as the image uh, it, and sort of it's again more breathing uh, we will put there 70. Awesome so let's put this one with white and we will put some shadow so it's sort of uh, it's not blended in the in the background we will put it uh, right down bottom 10 pixels 40 pixels blur and we won't, we don't go with blue. We will go with something. We, we don't go with black. We will go with something more bluish. Let's do 20%. And I think that's just fine. Great. So now let's focus on creating the whole thing, which will be the structure of the, of the widget. So we will put there a grid. Awesome. We will need only one row and one column, which will be 175. And here in this part, we will have the background video. 
which we will put there just right now. So let's grab the background video. Currently it's not visible because it is background video. So it's always keeping the Z index in the background. So we need to put it up. Awesome. And now it's displayed and we will need it in the second column. So let's bring few div blocks. So we will need uh, one div block for the for the whole text. And now we need, we need to switch those sides, awesome. And here uh, we would like to have still some padding, 30%, 30 pixels from top and 50% from the video, only from one side. Awesome. So this is, let's now do some maintenance here. So this is the whole uh, widget uh, wrapper. This will be content. This will be the grid. We can keep it as a grid. And this will be the copy wrapper or text, text wrapper. Awesome. And now uh, let's add uh, four text blocks. We only need four of them. And we will take one more div block which will be for the overall headline. And now we can do the fancy thing. Uh, basically have this on sides and this in center. And we will do it super easily uh, with flexbox, vertical and space between. I think it is space between and it is space between. Awesome. Now one more thing. Let's add on body uh, the integral demi bolt. We will put this one as a 88 uh, with line height of 100. I did the same mistake in the, in the video as well. Instead of 100, I put there 10. And now with the winter is coming. Now we will need here graphic. Where is graphic? That's Georgia. Let's do graphic. And let's just steal the text from here so I don't have to come up with anything else. Awesome, we are almost there. So let's put 28 here. So we have some breathing space. Let's put here no code challenge. Here we will put Jan Lossert for YouTube. Awesome, and this one is slightly bigger-ish, which is 20 by 30. So let's do 20 by 30. Awesome. So we have the main thing built, which was quite fast. Ignore now the glasses. I don't think that's anything important for this video. So we have the thing running. We have winter is coming. We need, although the bluish text. So let's grab the blue from here. Awesome. And now let's focus on the preloader, sort of the loading sliding thing. Uh, which you can see here on the build project. And that's awesome. So how are we going to do this? So we will create two more div blocks. We will put one on top. We will put here some color. So let's go with something more dark than this, uh, this background. We will again uh, add full width, full height. And we will put this on absolute and 20. Awesome. So now it's on top of the widget, but it's not the, the on, on top of the, the first one. So let's do the same thing again. 100, 100, now absolute, 30. And since we now have the darker color, we can take this one and then again make it more dark than the previous one. So now we basically have two div blocks on top, uh, which are which will be sliding over. And now let's create the preloader. So we will take this element trigger, uh, not element trigger, page trigger, uh, page load, action, start animation, new time animation. We will select the first one. Uh, we will then uh, create the movement. So move 
uh, we will put it on duration two. First position will be zero. Now let's do another move. Duration again two minus two for two uh, mi minus one hundred first person. And now let's do the second one. Move zero for duration zero point two seconds, and then move minus one hundred percent. So it slides across the whole thing and duration two and I think it should be done. Let's check it. Bang. Awesome. Awesome. So that was the whole thing. Feel free to jump on this challenge as well. Create something in three minutes and uh, mention me on Twitter and I'll be super glad to look at what you guys created. If you like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment below and subscribe if you want to support this channel and let me know by that that you want to create more videos like this. Cool, I'll see you soon.